Do you know what angina is? Hi, I'm Dr. Anthony Komarov. Angina is chest pain that occurs when the heart muscle isn't getting enough blood. When a plaque of atherosclerosis, a buildup of cholesterol, partially blocks an artery of the heart, the reduced blood flow can trigger an attack of angina. Some people call it angina. Angina is a squeezing sensation in the center of your chest. To understand angina, you need to know a few things about the heart. The heart lies in the chest, surrounded by the lungs. The heart is an organ made of muscle. It's about the size of your fist. The heart muscle constantly squeezes and relaxes, squeezes and relaxes. And with each squeeze, it pumps blood around your body. Like any muscle, the heart needs an energy supply, mainly oxygen and sugar, which it gets from the blood. Blood reaches the heart by way of arteries called coronary arteries. Each artery supplies a different part of the heart muscle. Every part of this heart is getting a good supply of blood, so the heart muscle is a healthy pink. Okay, so what happens when a plaque in one of your coronary arteries gets big enough to reduce blood flow. One part of your heart muscle gets less blood than before. You can see the pink fading. If you're at rest, your heart is not pumping hard. So even though blood flow to the heart is reduced, the heart muscle is still getting enough blood to quietly pump away. So you won't get angina. The problem starts when your heart needs to work harder, like when you're walking briskly up a hill. The heart muscle needs more energy to do the extra work, but there's not enough blood flow to supply the heart with the energy it needs. So the heart muscle starts to cry out, and you get angina, that squeezing sensation in the center of your chest. It can stop you in your tracks. Then when you stop, your heart doesn't need to work as hard. So after a few minutes, the heart is getting enough blood again, and the pain goes away. Though very painful, an attack of angina doesn't injure the heart because when you slow down, your heart muscle starts getting the blood it needs again. But a person with angina is at increased risk for a heart attack, which does injure the heart. To find out what happens during a heart attack, see the video, What is a Heart Attack? And to learn more about the condition that causes both angina and a heart attack, see the video, what is atherosclerosis? From Harvard, I wish you good health.